Who responds in ways that most people don't? Who deviates from trends and refuses to live in the flawed societal system? It's no one but the INFJ. Instead of being influenced, they influence. Here are 10 things that prove a true INFJ is a timeless old soul. Number 10. They invest in meaningful connections. One of the finest proof a true INFJ is a timeless old soul is their fondness for purposeful meaningful connections. INFJs hate wasting their time on nonsense. They are the last to engage in casual dating. And as sensitive individuals, they have limited social circles because they preserve their energy for those who are worth it. Their friend group may include various ages, backgrounds, and life experiences. Instead of wasting their time hopping from one relationship to another, they spend their entire lives forming long-lasting bonds with trustworthy and genuine people. They require connections with whom they can explore their inexhaustible emotions. They need companions who are willing to absorb their profound energy without judgment. This is why their peers think they are too reserved and too serious in their relationships when in reality, it is how things are supposed to be. Number 9. They find worldly concerns unnecessary. The mindset of an INFJ is not rooted in the world's system. That's why some people think of them as having old souls. They refuse to allow themselves to become invested and attached to whatever the physical world can give them. As mindful and fully aware individuals, they also believe that there are many things that human logic cannot discern. So, it is preferable to stay afloat and avoid societal influences while focusing on what matters the most, their peace and spiritual well-being. It's no surprise that INFJs can achieve self-actualization at a young age. They do not put themselves through unimportant and unbeneficial situations in the long run. They understand which events are worth attending and which are not, saving them from unnecessary distractions. Does ignoring worldly drama fulfill your spiritual needs? Number 8. They spend a lot of time thinking about leaving a legacy. Another proof INFJs are old souls is they often see situations from the big picture rather than small details. They recognize that they cannot change the world independently, so they concentrate on creating improvements where they can. Their desire to do good and be good can make the more fleeting aspects of life appear less significant. Simply put, they drift along unbothered and unaffected by the ups and downs of daily life. As they feel deeply connected to those they hold dear, they may want to help others overcome difficulties. The INFJ's intuition may lead them to offer wisdom or helpful problem-solving advice, causing their loved ones to seek their counsel in times of distress. Number 7. They are highly empathic. INFJs are deeply empathic people. Their ability to consider other people's experiences and feel what they feel can give them a sense of gravity and maturity. At the same time, being aware of other people's sorrows and pain can put weight on their shoulders that can be difficult to carry or shift. Sadly, being an old soul also entails increased sensitivity to people's energies and emotions. This can also make conflict management more complex, making INFJs want to isolate themselves and spend time in nature or other peaceful quiet places. Over time, this emphasizes their need for distance. This is why they prefer staying home and spending quality time with their loved ones. People their age may mock this behavior, especially if they want INFJs to hang out with them. They don't realize that everyone, including INFJ, has the right to say no. They have every reason to refuse activities they do not want. They're also not people who do things just to fit in with a group. They refuse to act for the sake of gaining attention and appreciation. INFJs are fine, but that doesn't mean they're perfect. Does having high empathy make you demand frequent isolation? Number 6. They advise like they're someone who has lived for centuries. 
People are amazed by how INFJs advise like they're 100 years old, even when they're still 30. INFJs offer advice in the manner of a wise old man, while some people mock them for not coming up with new, creative solutions to problems. Their diverse viewpoint works better than some of their generation's modern approaches. Their life philosophies appear to have come from an ancient person who lived many years ago. They have the outlook and wisdom of an elderly person who once ruled and conquered kingdoms. If you ask INFJs why they think this way, they honestly don't know. They simply attempt to coexist with the modern world while unconsciously clinging to their prophetic roots. Number 5. They get things done without referring to trends. INFJs are exceptional problem solvers. They benefit from their ability to conclude their surroundings through keen observation, not from social approval. Even if some people believe there is no way out of the chaos they are in, INFJs will always find a way out, even if it means proposing outdated or undervalued solutions. Often, their instincts are correct. They have confidence in themselves because they believe that the universe happened for a reason. They say there's no harm in trying or I think this would work. People their age, especially those who lack experience and wisdom, may not understand what they're doing or where they got the idea. But believe it or not, INFJs are intentional in their actions. Do people also question your tendency to solve problems without considering the trends? Number 4. They are intentional in their words and actions. INFJs think things through thoroughly. Despite their self-assurance and the numerous times they have been proven correct, INFJs remain cautious in their decision-making process. They don't make decisions based on emotions since they know it may often lead to disaster. Knowing that some people will seek their advice, they feel more responsible for providing the safest, most effective solutions. INFJs despise ending up in regrets as much as they despise contributing to the regrets of others. As a result, they take the time to collect observations and use relevant cues to arrive at specific answers. Their analysis and intuition are undeniably correct, but they can't help but think about failure. Number 3. They love classic literature and music. INFJs are drawn to meaningful things. They can recall every detail and memory that a song or piece of literature implies. This is why they are drawn to songs that evoke memories from their past. They most likely have an entire playlist on their cell phone and desktops containing all the random old songs that can relieve emotions such as pain, anguish, sadness, happiness, and excitement. INFJs enjoy retrospection even if it does not involve physically revisiting past events. They can go through their past encounters and experiences by reminiscing, which appears to be a beautiful journey that has made them better. Do you also listen to memorable songs and literature to refresh your memory? Number 2. They aren't delighted by what their age group is delighted with. INFJs are uninterested in modern devices, new fashion trends, up-to-date mobile applications, and new artists. Why? It's because they're used to seeing the temporary pleasures people get from these experiences. As old souls and outside observers, INFJs are concerned more about pressing issues and global priorities. When they care, they go all in. They initiate the necessary changes in their society and environment while neglecting other shallow drama their peer group talks about. Trying themselves to modern scenarios may only frustrate them when it causes them to miss on character and spiritual growth. To avoid situations that cause them unnecessary stress, they no longer place too much delight and emphasis on things that will not last long. Number 1. They believe learning never ends. INFJs believe that learning never ends. Despite having accumulated a wealth of knowledge through years of experience, both old and young INFJs agree that learning never stops. 
they willingly laugh at their mistakes and pat themselves on the back for excelling at learning from life's lessons. But as they don't take their downs too seriously, they also don't fall back into their bad habits. They also don't waste time regretting and replaying their mistakes. Their mindset is preoccupied with what is about to happen rather than what has already occurred. INFJs learn a lot when they are young because they never turn down opportunities that make them win or lose. Whatever happens, INFJs always look forward to the lessons they will learn in every situation. Does this mean you willingly learn from those whose views don't align with yours? INFJs are old souls for all good reasons. With their impressive outlook and wisdom, they were able to help their loved ones get out of their worldly miseries and focus on their spiritual well-being. Is your family grateful for your role in their lives? Does being an old soul more of an advantage or disadvantage 